What is up, everybody? I'm Bladen Kirk, and welcome back to my quarterly review of the Indianapolis Colts. At the start of the NFL season, I laid out my expectations for this team to not only be a playoff team, but also win their division for the first time in a decade as Anthony Richardson took the leap into stardom. However, after eight games, they currently sit at 4-4 four and four, with two losses against the Houston Texans, and they just decided to bench the second-year quarterback. So it doesn't look like these goals are going to be hit. But it is mostly the benching decision that I want to focus on today because I do really see both sides to this argument and I feel like there hasn't been a whole lot that has changed for the rest of the team since our earlier breakdown after the first four games. So with that being said, let's hop right in. On the one hand, you do want to start the better quarterback and when Richardson is completing less than 50% of his passes and has a success rate below 40%, it is very hard to argue that he is the better option for this team right now. On the other hand, he is the second youngest quarterback in the NFL starting. And the last thing I would want to take away from a guy so young and so inexperienced and so unpolished is reps. But I want to spend a little bit more time on the first point because even though it is obvious that Flacco is the better quarterback right now, I think it is interesting that Richardson isn't just playing worse than Flacco, he is playing worse than Richardson last year. And it is just fascinating to me that this is a guy playing uniquely bad football where there are extremely high highs and extremely low lows with more lows than highs, but he wasn't playing like that in the small sample size from last year. Now, he wasn't great, but he wasn't making a case to be the worst quarterback in the NFL like he is right now. I think the only thing Richardson really has going for him is the athleticism and the potential for him turning into an even freakier version of Josh Allen or Cam Newton. And this probably does intertwine with the age conversation because I would not personally want to waste time with Anthony Richardson being on the bench. I am almost always in favor of starting your young quarterback unless you have a true serious starter slash former franchise quarterback already ahead of him on the depth chart. I am very opposed to the idea of bringing someone in to be the bridge quarterback just because you've seen guys like Mahomes and Love Workout. Those guys got to sit behind Alex Smith and Aaron Rodgers on established playoff teams. This is not the case for nearly every other young quarterback in football. And this is definitely not the case for Anthony Richardson. I always hear people say that, oh, you don't want to shatter a young QB's confidence by throwing him in when he's not ready. I never hear anyone talking about benching someone or leaving someone on the bench and the impact that that could have on their confidence. I really do think Anthony Richardson does a lot of good things, but the accuracy has just been such a problem, and it is hard for me to see a world where that improves with him on the bench, practicing with the number twos and losing valuable game experience. To me, if this were a decision-making issue or a pocket presence issue, I would understand wanting him to sit behind and learn from a veteran like Flacco. But I think the only way this is going to get fixed, if it does at all, is by him getting the reps with the receivers that he needs to build confidence and continuity with. Like I said at the top, Anthony Richardson is super young, super unpolished, super inexperienced. But he's not the youngest, he's the second. The first is Drake May, and he has looked really good on a team that has, quite frankly, horrible play calling, mediocre receivers, a bad offensive of line, and of course, they can't run the ball. It is arguably the worst situation for a young QB, and yet he is clearly better than their backup option in Jacoby Brissett. And Richardson just hasn't been that for the Colts this year. Bryce Young got benched for a similar reason for Andy Dalton this year. I think ultimately I would rather see Anthony Richardson finish out the season as long as he is healthy, but I don't necessarily blame the Colts for sitting him right now, especially considering he basically took himself out of their last game because he was tired. Shane Steichen and company, they're just trying to put the best product and the best team on the football field. The Colts are still very much in the playoff race and it would be a shame to waste that as much as it would be nice to see the young guy Richardson get more experience. In our next update, we should have an understanding of the ramifications of this decision and an idea of what the Colts should do going forward. But until then, thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you on the flippity flop.